A little demonstration to show a solenoid driver in action. Uh, this is based on the Texas Instrument DRV102 chip. You can get the man page online pretty easily. Um, they have it set up. There's a couple packages that comes in. This is a staggered prong package that I bridged across this gap on the breadboard so we can access um, the front prongs over here and the back prongs here. Um, a resistor is run the ground off of prong 3 to regulate the duty cycle voltage. What's going on is we have a solenoid that I thought was getting too hot. You couldn't touch it after about 15 minutes of running. I've also heard um, through the grapevine that there are um, people having trouble with these burning up uh, and, and failing on them. So I, th I was looking for a solution to it. This seemed like a good one. Uh, we'll see if it works or not. This this is a 100 kilo ohm resistor. It drops it down. The initial current is you'll see is about 1.1 1, 1 .1, and it drops it down to about 200 milliamps, um, which is enough to keep it still engaged is what we're after, but not get hot. This is a capacitor that regulates how long it takes uh, from the initial voltage going through until it drops the current down uh, to the duty cycle. This is a 10 microfarad uh, capacitor. It's probably too much by the order of 10 at least. Uh, it's taking about five or six seconds to kick in uh, and I don't think we need anywhere near that. These are just some diodes I had sitting around. They're uh, rated for 2 amps, 50 volts. Uh, probably a little heavier duty but that's probably a good idea. Uh, better than under duty on this one. And let's give it some electricity and see what happens. You should be able to hear the solenoid click in. Pretty good thunk. And we're up to, uh, that'd be 1.156 amps. And about five seconds later, it drops down to 218 milliamps. And I ran this about a half hour earlier, and it never got warm at all. It stayed cold as a cucumber. So we'll see if we can fine-tune on just exactly what size diode, resistor, and capacitors I need and put this into production.